War never changes. Even in Minecraft. It can be hard to think about the decade-long history of 2B2T without thinking about the conflicts that have plagued the server throughout the years. And to this day, no conflict has generated as much destruction as the War of 2016, the Russia War. With a giant influx of players came a mass griefing of structures all surrounding the spawn regions. Today, we'll be taking a look at what's left of three bases near spawn that had great significance during the Russia War. The Underground City, Castle Hateheart, and the City of Helios. I'll also be giving you a brief history of each location before we take a look at what's left. No wasting time today, let's get started. The Underground City was an important location during the Russia War, but not for a reason you would expect. From July through August of 2016, this underground base was an off-camera meeting location for YouTubers to exchange supplies such as God Apples, which, at the time, were highly valued and not easy to obtain. Sadly, a world download of this base was never taken, so the base is lost to history. I'm returning here for the first time in three years. Let's see what's left. Well, since this place is a meeting place for YouTubers, or was a meeting place for YouTubers, I thought it'd be appropriate to bring one with me. How's it going, Sal? Pretty good. How about you? It's going well. For those of you that don't know, Sal C1 is the second biggest 2B2T YouTuber, and he makes a lot of great content about topics that I don't really get into. And in general, he's got a really cool style, so make sure to check out his channel. But I hear wither explosions, so uh, that's that's usually not a good sign. Three years since I've gone down this exact staircase, so this is a little nostalgic, you know? Three years, jeez. Three years, man, yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, well, you know what? At least it's still underground. Like, uh, it's recognizable for the most part. I still recognize a few of the structures, but uh, it's... Uh, it's seen better days. There's a lot of lava, man. I don't remember this much lava. Yeah, because it's all at level 11, so it kind of makes sense. Yeah. You know, it looks like someone tried to, like, repair the ceiling or something. It's all cobblestone. Yeah, it's crazy. This is where a lot of YouTubers would meet behind the scenes during the Russia War and, like, exchange gapples and stuff. Because remember, back in the day, gapples were, like, the currency on 2B2T. If you had gapples, you basically had an advantage over everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> And now we can just toss them in the lava like it's nothing because we have unlimited. Overall, I'm kind of impressed that it's still somewhat intact a little bit, you know? Barely. But, but uh, barely, yeah, but it's... You can tell there was something here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So overall, not bad, but sad to see the base end up like this. But hey, why don't we head back up to the surface and get going to the next base? You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it, man. Castle Hateheart was an important location during the war, as this was the de facto base of the early stages of the fourth incursion. Old players gathered and communicated here discussing plans for suppressing the invaders. Because the base was directly connected to Zero Zero from the old spawn road, it was easy for new players to find and eventually caused the base's downfall. It has been rebuilt and griefed several times over. Time to see what's left. So here we are, the ruins of Castle Hateheart after the Russia War. Oh god, do you see this? Oh god. <laughs> oh my god, let's just ignore that sign, let's keep moving. A lot of the castle, I mean like the walls are still intact, I mean not every single block is missing. Like the flagpole is still here, and <laughs> one block of the flag is still here too. Think that, yeah, this used to be the original stronghold for the fourth incursion before uh, we moved elsewhere, but this... Okay, the grass is still here. The visitor wall is gone, like the sign posts. Let's see. Someone was here recently, it looks like. Wow. And the main well, tower here actually still looks like it's in good shape. Let's check it out. You know, I'll tell you, the griefers didn't do the best job, but that's good for us. Yeah, it's great for us. Yeah, we always joke about that whenever the griefers do a horrible job. If the base is still recognizable, they, uh, they messed up. The main castle over here looks really beat up, but yeah. the outside of the city walls look alright over here. Doesn't look horrible. 
And there used to be these really cool looking like yellow and red banners that were just put all over the place, like the Castle Hateheart banner, but there's none left. They all got stolen, it looks like. Is there a world download of this place? I think there is actually a world download of Castle Hate Heart. You know, unlike the underground city, this this place has pre been pretty well documented. It got saved, so it's got that going for it. I do love the kind of like stone, cobblestone, and stone brick place. Yeah, like it's just like, and I want to call it like just an old fashioned like medieval Minecraft base, and that it gave it a really cool feel. I was expecting it to be in worse shape, but it's not. I mean, considering it's been three years and it's been through a war, it is not that shabby. It is not bad. <laughs> and, and usually, uh, oh, hold on. Whoa, Whoa. look at this. That's this a lot of like pig a... spawners, look at that. Yeah. It's like a beautiful meadow next to a giant lava wall. Man, if I were a new player, I would, like, I'd be going nuts it's, right now. Yeah, this is like an oasis. And this is not far mm -hmm. from spawn, so, like, there's a good chance a new player would run into this going overworld. The city of Helios was the closest city to spawn that was still standing near the end of the war. It served as a refuge for players escaping spawn, and the stained glass cathedral ended up being the dual location between myself and Netta T. The base was griefed near the end of the war simply for attention. The city is a sad reminder of how something that can stand for so long is easily erased. How bad this grief is, sheesh. Oh my gosh. See, Ruins of Helios. I remember, yeah, one of the reasons why I used to love Helios is because it was so close to spawn, but yet it still stayed intact for like a ton of years. It stayed up for at least two years, being like only a few thousand blocks away from zero zero. And that's why I always respected it. Oh man. Oh, here's the cathedral where I fought at a T and this. It's like surrounded by water now. It's like unrecognizable, this section of it. Jeez. I mean, you can tell there used to be some kind of big structure here, but that's it. <laughs> You would have no idea what it used to be. And like, oh, the town used to have so many cool like little buildings and like interiors and there, there's like a canal system. And oh man. And it looks like, yeah, some of like the uh, the terracotta in the buildings is still there. Because it used to have that, that kind of peach color. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, so the canal system's still here a little bit, it looks like. Oh yeah, I hear withers, do you? Yep. And it's just all covered in water. Yeah, oh, it looks like there's more of the town over this way that seems a little bit more intact. The Russia War was a crazy time, you know, and a lot of people realized that, hey, I can grief things for attention real easily and it'll get a lot of views. You know, so it's like the, the war kind of changed griefing culture a little bit. Now, instead of just doing it for fun and to be like sadistic, it was for like glory and attention, you know? It sort of changed that aspect of griefing on the server. Oh, and by the way, uh, I have, uh, I do have a gift for you. A gift? I do, yes. Let me pull it out here real quick. Okay. Thought I should write you a little book. Too fit. Oh man. Man, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Sal. This is a sweet book. I'm gonna... I'm keeping this in my book stash. You're a big book collector? Yeah, I mean... I mean, not not a huge book collector, but I hold on to the books that, like, have a lot of meaning to me. Like, obviously, Etika's book. Uh, Dr. Zombie wrote me a book a while ago. You know, I just, like... Diff I think I still have Bernsey's book from the world border. So, like, different books that I've received from people I do hold on to. You know, but, um... This one, this one belongs with the rest, so thank you very much, Sal. I appreciate yeah, that. no problem. Well, anyway, that's it for today's video, everyone. We got to see the ruins of all these bases from the Russia War, and they have not held up well at all, but it's all good. So remember, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Also, make sure to subscribe to Sal C1 on YouTube, so you can get as much 2B2T content as your heart desires. That's it, everyone. So... Take it easy. Thank you so much to Sal for joining me on our adventures today. And Thank if you, you plan to play on 2B, just make sure to stay alive out there. 
See you, Fit Fam.